Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to another episode for NightAnalog.com. Today I'm looking at the D6300. It's an ADSL modem router. Now it also has quite a large feature in this. It's called ADA211 AC. Now what that is, is actually the latest in wireless speeds. So up to 1300 megabits per second throughput. So what that means is where your modem sits and your computer connects wirelessly to the device, between those two devices, they could be reaching speeds of 1300 megabits per second. And why is that beneficial when your internet connection going out is nowhere near that sort of speed? The benefit comes from what you can also do internally on your network. So yes, your internet, cap, your internet speed is mostly capped with what you can achieve with your internet provider. But the D6300 also has two USB ports. And with that, you can plug external hard drives into them, which have movies on them, like HD movies, um, DSLR photos, so large quality photos. And you can plug them in and share them on your network, share them and view them on your laptop, stream them straight to your laptop from the router and not have any lag, not have you know speed issues that you would have had trying to do that over the slower wireless speeds. There is a huge benefit in doing that. You can also connect USB printers into here as well. So if you're printing documents, it'll come out real quick, depending on the printer. But it will go straight through the router without a problem because the speed is there. Now, I mentioned that that's definitely really good. Good speeds internally, but what else? So the wireless, the wireless component is interesting. So you have the two bands, which you can share the load on a little bit, but you can also create guest wireless networks. So what I mean by that is that when you normally go to a hotel, if you've traveled recently and you need internet connection, the hotel usually gives you, well, here's your password to log on to our, our wireless. You can use it. And you can do the same thing with this. So if somebody comes over and they want to use your internet, in case you're protective of what's plugged into, say, those USB drives, protective of them perhaps trying to access your computers, you don't know. It could be it could be anybody who needs internet access. So you can create guest networks and have a separate password and have them only able to access the internet with no other access to any of the ports, anything else on the network as well. And that's quite handy, actually, when you think about it, because you might have your son or daughter is having a party, their friends are coming over, they spend their whole night wanting to chat to each other on their phones, but they need an internet connection, you could give them that and not worry about what they could do with the rest of the network. It's kind of handy. Um, so I mentioned the ReadyShare. ReadyShare is a big one and it's all done through this Netgear Genie. All this sort of setup that I'm talking about is done with Netgear Genie. Now what that means is the little IT guy, the 16 year old kid that you would have come over to your place to set up your modem because no one knew how to do it, you don't need him anymore. Netgear Genie is so simple, it takes you through the whole process from start to finish of setting up your internet connection, your wireless, guest access, viewing who's on your network, so much more, and it's all clicks, simple clicks, all done. No need to be a coder, no need to do anything special. It's very simple, trust me, it's simple. And it's also got DLNA on board. I wanted to mention that as well because if you've got a USB drive with movies on here, turn up your PlayStation, turn it on, you'll see that USB drive show up, and you could start streaming content straight to your PlayStation, watch on your TV, and obviously any other DLNA compatible devices. There's a lot out there, trust me. Now, physically, it is a bit of a large device. I did mention that it takes up some space. It stands upright. It doesn't lay flat like the old school ones, but um, it actually looks quite good still. The patterns on it are great. It looks nice. Now, I mentioned ADA211 AC. It is at the future. It is what's happening. Phones, laptops, they're all coming with this new technology. And if your modem dies right now, this would be something to invest in. It is a little bit more expensive because it has the new technology in it, but you need to think about how long these things last for, usually a few years. By the end of the next three years, wow, this thing is going to be still a decent router and not like if you bought a crappy one right now. So think about it. I like it. Netgear D6300 uh, compared to the one which I'm using at home. This is so much better, and I just love how easy it is and how simple it is to use. Anyone can use it. I'm telling you, anybody can use it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.